Today I want to showcase a new amazing feature of 3D code on plane lofted surface. It allows us to design on a curved surface. It can be a helmet, it can be a shoe, it can be a clothing item, it can be a lot of different things. It's a completely new, amazing feature that I wish we had before. To use this tool, we need to create a curve. I will press Q and I will pick a curve right there. And then I will draw it on an object. In this case, I'm using the mannequin head, I press escape when I'm happy with it, and I draw another one. It is snapping to the surface, so it is extremely important to have something that helps you to create a surface. So any kind of blob, any design can help you to do that. And I will do another one here. Then I'll go into the curve tree. Then I have these four curves. It is important to have one curve below another because then it allows us this, the order for creating a loft surface that's going to be crucial in creating that base surface. I can see here my curve is clipping the object a little bit too much, so I want to go and find that one, switch to the pick dot, and just navigate it so it's slightly outside. There is an option to offset the surface that we're going to create, therefore I don't need to be sticking this surface too much to the face. However, it helps to unstick it a little bit. Okay, so then I will be using it with the blob tool. You can use sculpt tool, you can use sphere tool with on plane. Doesn't matter that much, but my favorite personal choice is, is blob tool. And I click on plane, I unscroll this and I look for lofted surface. So by default, it will most like, likely will be defined by RMB. I go to lofted surface and I need to pick my curves one by one in the order that they created. Then it will click here, create new surface. And right now I have the hide preview. And then I hide it. You can see this is our curve. The surface has been created. There is an offset already there. I had it from previous tests. I need to put it to zero. So I have this curve going hugging the face. And now this is our on plane. If I go to my layer where I was going to paint some of this stuff, and I'll switch, I press E menu and I'll switch to the rectangular, and I start to paint. I will start to get the shapes. So the shapes are intersecting with the head because our curves are not really perfectly aligned with the head, right? So I can see that I should have created another curve right here, but it is not a problem. I will go offset this curve a little bit more, maybe a little bit more like that, and I start to create. And every time I create anything, it's starting to you know build us our helmet design in this case. You can see I have symmetry on, so therefore everything we create on one side is getting repeated on another side. If radius is bigger, for example, at the top, it will make my strokes bigger as well. I can press Alt, rotate this, and keep on building and drawing, designing on our plane. You can see it's not always exactly perfect. You can get a little bochy piece like that. However, for, for the ability and for the, the designs we can do here, I think it's a small price to pay, really. It's a little voxel thing. I have some voxel paint activated, so I, I want to click that off. I can also click delete the whole layer and I can say do fill in and it will create a fill of the surface using our planes and it creates a voxel surface and I can always hide the curves so they don't interfere with the look. I can also hide the plane if I want to design on this plane without the plane visible. I'm pressing control plane, so I'm kind of creating cuts like that. I can always just go unclick on plane and switch to voxel height 
and start cutting stuff, everything. We can do the same operations we do with voxels here. Like I can go and smooth everything. And I have my hotkey there for smoothing everything. And then it can create a multiple curves, multiple patches for all your design needs. If you want to have the top piece, bottom piece, anything you want, is a lot of freedom that we can achieve with this tool. This is an example. I was doing a lot more tests, and my my curves look like this. I created more of the head hugging design, and I also have another group with another curves. The simple, a more simple curve. Sometimes it can be more simple, the better. Uh, less distortion along the curve really leads to less artifacts that can occasionally pop. But we're dealing with voxels here, so a great power of voxels is always easy to fix artifacts. They're very malleable. In fact, this, this design was created using this surface, this loft, because you can go outside the borders of the patch. It do, you don't have to be confined by the patch. You can always design outside. Like you can see here, I can draw outside. I can also extend the surface, so that will help us to have more of a controllable way to do it, to see what's going on when we are extending it. It is changing the original shape, and you can see I'm pressing too far, and it starts to create some weird stuff. And I wish we had this tool a long time ago because this is frankly amazing. Here I used the foot and I created these curves around around the foot to create a lofted surface. And let me create a new layer. And I will pick the blob tool. Click on plane. I check that my lofted surface is activated. And then I click do fill in. Well, I didn't pick all the curves. Wait. I pick curve one, two, three, four. Then create new surface. Then I will say I don't want this to be extended to make it zero. And I want to make my brush small because it will make it too thick. So I want my to create my filling using that thickness. And you can see here we got what I wanted. And let me hide everything. Actually, I want to completely exit on plane as well. I got a base of the boot. And if I click to pose, first of all, I want to resample this. And I want to make it a little bit more dense. So I'll go to like half a million and maybe smooth it a few times, but not too much. And let me switch to different material. Then I will go to Pose to pick some shape like ellipse. Click 11 times, create a pattern, and create a super quick design for the boot. It's one of those sneaker designs where we get this a parametric flow of surfaces. Some, some, something is protruding, something is going inwards. This is a, quite a common design trend nowadays. And you can achieve it, achieve it in seconds, doing it in 3D code. This was another one of those. So go get the latest 3D code update, because this is common with that, and uh, try it on your own designs.